welcome to today's vlog. I'm not too sure what today's video is even gonna be. I feel like it's just gonna be another chill and chatty style vlog as I continue to dip my toe back into the vlogging space. This morning I wanted to give you guys a little glimpse at what our mornings are looking like. They're still a little bit all over the place because baby girl still isn't on a schedule and basically just wakes whenever she wants. So her morning feed is usually a little bit all over the place. It's honestly between six and seven, like there is that kind of consistency where it is usually between six and seven in the morning, but depending on the time of that, I either get the boys up before and they come in our room while I feed her or I feed her before and then go in their room, which was the case for today. So I do plan on filming a more concrete morning routine, especially when the boys start camp and we get into routine with that because that will be consistent for six weeks. Um, I do want to film like a full morning routine for you guys, but I did give you guys a little bit of a glimpse as to what our morning looks like. This morning I did feed baby girl first, then I got the boys up, then I finished getting her ready and getting myself ready. Um, so that is what our morning looked like this morning. Right now it is a little bit after eight. She is napping in her swing upstairs. I am downstairs with the boys having my coffee and my breakfast. They already ate and I actually just gave them all of their medications because they did go ahead and have their surgery yesterday and I figured I would give you guys a little update on that since I talked about it. I talked about the fact that they were going in to have the surgery, um, but your tooth? Your tooth? No, it's in there, baby. It's okay. Um, but I obviously didn't vlog the whole thing. It was um, kind of a hectic morning and I didn't really ever plan on vlogging that to begin with, but I did want to make sure that I sat down and gave you guys an update on that because I did talk about it over here and on Instagram and on TikTok. So um, I'll give you guys a quick rundown on how that went. So they went in yesterday morning. Um, ben was first. Their call times were 7.15 and 7.45, but their surgery times were, I believe, like 8 and 8.30. However, their doctor was there and ready around 7.30, 7.40. So they actually got them started right away. They were the first of his surgeries for the day, and they did them back to back, which was so nice. I was able to just bring them in together and do like the whole intake process at the same time for both of them so that was really nice i wound up bringing harris's mom with me to help with the whole thing and harris stayed home with baby girl yesterday morning so she was taken care of i originally planned on maybe bringing her i thought that there was going to be like a room for us to sit in and wait I'm gonna drink it. one little sip sit in and wait for the boys to be done with their procedure however it wasn't like that at all and i'm really glad that i didn't bring her i think it would have added to the chaos of it all um so harris stayed home with her i went in with the boys honestly the surgery was literally 10 minutes each it took longer to get them in their gowns and do the whole intake process than it did for them to actually get the surgery done so it was fairly quick. The wake up process obviously took a while since they were put under general anesthesia. I was able to go back with each of them and hold their hand and sit with them while they were being put under, which that was like the hardest part. Ben freaked out putting the mask on and got like super nervous for the whole thing. Jack actually did really good and didn't cry. You're comfy, I see. Jack did really good and didn't cry when they put the mask on him and he dozed off and drifted off really like smoothly and didn't get all worked up ben did get worked up but it literally takes 30 seconds for the general anesthesia to take its hold on you and to fall asleep so once ben was asleep i went back into like the intake room and sat with jack and then once ben was out from surgery and in a recovery room harris's mom went back with him while he started to wake up and then i went back with jack into like him getting put under into the operating room with him so he could get put under and then after that, I did go back in with Ben in his recovery room. And then we waited for Jack to get up. And then we all went into one recovery room together, which was really nice. They were able to get us into a separate room all together. What, baby? So all in all, the surgery, 10 minutes, super quick. Doctor said everything went really, really well. I know I need to clip your nails later on. Um, he was able to put the tubes in their ears and he said that their adenoids were huge. He vaporized them. That's the term that he used vaporized them and got them down as much as he could. He said they were like 95% covering their airways. So it definitely needed to be done. 
Um, so that was quick and easy. The doctor said that they did really well. The wake up process obviously took a while because of the general anesthesia. They woke up and were very disoriented and confused and in pain, obviously. Surprisingly, their ears, they have zero pain with their ears. When they woke up from the surgery, the only thing that hurt them was their throats and Jack's tongue hurt. I guess they go like in through their mouth to reach the adenoids. Um, but they both said that their throats hurt. And so it was a little bit of a process to get them up and comfortable and consoled, if that makes sense. We had to stay there for about an hour afterwards for them to be able to like fully wake up. They had to eat something, drink something, um, and then like stand for a little bit to make sure that they weren't super like wobbly and still disoriented. What other tube? The other tube that I know, baby, but that one ripped. That's the only one that we have. Mom. We used to have another one of those, but it ripped. Um, so, yeah, all in all, it was like a three-hour process. We got there at like 7.15, and we were home by like 10.30. We used to have another like tube like that when you guys were super little, but it ripped, so we just have that one. Um, and then once they got home for pain management i just give them tylenol honestly by like noon they were completely fine i stayed on top of their tylenol and even today they didn't say that they needed the tylenol but i wanted to still give it to them so that they kept so that they were still comfortable all throughout the day um and now it's just the healing process i have to put drops in their ears for the next three days they have to take amoxicillin for the next week to make sure that they don't get any sort of infection the doctor said that their breath is going to smell from like the healing process of the adenoids, but the tubes should be fairly easy to get healed. It is crazy that <clears throat> I can shine my flashlight and look in their ears and literally see the tubes. I don't know how they stay in their ears. I can literally see them in there. But surgery day went really well. The boys are recovering super, super fast. He said that they have to kind of be calm and not be too active for the first week which is definitely hard already yesterday they wanted to jump around and wrestle and fight each other which i obviously tried to stop it as much as i could it's definitely going to be hard to keep them like down and relaxed if they're feeling really good they're gonna just want to play how they want to play but that is over and done with we can check that off our list and then we just have to go in like a month from now for him to check on everything and make sure everything is healing correctly as long as i don't hit any bumps in the road over the next week and i don't think that they're healing incorrectly i don't see the doctor until a month from now so that's done with i wanted to give you guys an update on that as for the rest of today it's going to be just another normal day where we sit in the house and do absolutely nothing especially because the boys are recovering i have some chores i want to get done some laundry that needs to get done i got in like a few random pieces of clothing for this summer stuff in a size large so that it could actually fit me i wanted to give you guys a postpartum like body update and i will share with you guys those pieces of clothing and then i'll see what other kind of footage i can get throughout the day and whatever this vlog is this vlog is going to be you guys really seem to enjoy my last one even though it was super chatty and chill and that's how i expect this one to go so i hope you guys enjoyed this video just the same but for now while baby girl's down i'm going to try and eat my now cold toast i'm going to try and eat this and drink some coffee before she gets up for her next feeding and then i will check in with you guys in a little bit okay boys are watching a movie baby girl just ate again we actually went outside so i fed her outside because the boys wanted to play and I'm seeing if she will put herself to sleep independently in her swing. Baby girl is a contact nap lover and loves to be rocked to sleep. And I know she's only going to be a newborn for this little bit of time. So I do need to like soak it in and appreciate it. But I do start to like stress and wonder if she'll ever be able to put herself to sleep on her own. I'm obviously not sleep training her yet. She's just three weeks old. But um, in the coming weeks, I do want to try and start setting a good sleep foundation for her. Like when the boys are at camp. So um, for now, I do rock her to sleep a lot. I'm seeing if maybe she'll doze a little bit in there. Um, and I want to go ahead and do the laundry. I do do all the kids laundry together. Um, I also don't use drafts. I feel like that is a marketing scam. I did use it with the boys, but then after like seeing videos about it and how it is so heavily like fragranced and everything, and there really is no difference unless your child does have sensitive skin and needs like a sensitive <laughs> detergent. Um, I don't use drafts. So I just wind up doing the kids laundry all together. It's a laundry day. So I'm going to go ahead and throw this in and then watch baby girl and see if she'll fall asleep. If not, I'll pick her up and rock her and get her to fall asleep. 
and then hopefully during this nap period i'll be able to sit and show you guys um those clothes that i did get in for this summer season for myself i desperately need a pedicure too so please excuse the toes they're looking a little rough <laughs> I almost just washed a clean diaper in the laundry. I have no idea why this was in the laundry basket, but thankfully I found it because that would have been a disaster. Okay, I know my hair is crazy. I'm on like third or fourth day hair. Tonight I need to wash my hair, but this is just like newborn life is not getting around to showering as often as you used to. So I understand I look insane. I did have to wind up holding baby girl and settling her, but she is asleep in her swing. So while she's asleep, I'm going to quickly run through and share with you guys some things that I got in for myself for this summer season. I just needed some like basics in a larger size since I'm in a postpartum period and have more weight on than I did last summer. I'm quickly going to give you guys a little body update. I'm officially three weeks postpartum and I am 20 pounds down. I actually was 20 pounds down like 48 hours after I gave birth. I weighed myself at the pediatrician's office when I was there with baby girl and I was already 20 pounds down. But I need a total of 40 pounds this pregnancy, so I still have 20 more pounds that I need to lose. And so we're getting there. But my belly looks like this. Whoa, I still have my Linea Nigra. I can't remember when this went away with the boys. I honestly think I was like five months postpartum when I was able to exfoliate this off. So we'll have to see how long that this takes to shed. I know it does shed and you have to like exfoliate it off, but for now it still feels like it's on there. Obviously my belly button skin is a little bit looser than it was previously and I do just have overall looser skin. I did get four new stretch marks with baby girl, but my stretch marks from the boys actually don't look too different than what they did pre-pregnancy. But you can see, I just have like more weight on my sides. My waistline is not as thin as it was. All of this like extra like love handily weight I need to get off. And then I have a little bit extra on my tummy, a little bit extra on my legs, a little bit extra on my butt. So overall, I'm just like a larger size than I was. And I didn't want to force myself into my pre-pregnancy clothes or clothes that I wore last summer and to make myself feel uncomfortable. I still wanna try on all of those bathing suits that I bought for myself for postpartum. I have yet to try any of those on and see if they fit because I did buy a bunch of bathing suits in a larger size so that I didn't feel uncomfortable this summer season. So I think I'm gonna do that in a TikTok. But for what I picked up most recently from Shein, like I said, it's a lot of basics. So I wanted to get a few new rompers in. I love rompers like unitards. For the summer season, I lived in my Old Navy one last summer, and I believe the summer before, and that one does fit me, which is really nice. But I did get a few in from Shein that actually have, like, waist control, like, tummy control, and they're more, like, compressive. So this is the first one. This is, like, a spaghetti strap one, and then I think I got in two, like, thicker strap ones. I will have everything linked down below for you guys and like SKU numbers so if you guys are interested in any of this these I did get in a medium because I think pre-pregnancy I would have fit in a small so this one here also has I don't know if you can see like tummy control to help suck in my looser skin on my tummy so like I said I got a spaghetti strap one a thicker strapped one and I think I got the thicker strapped one in gray as well let me see if I can no, I think find so it. As yeah, I did get the thicker strapped one in light gray as well. I figured might as well get some options in. So this one I think you'll be able to see a little bit better. It has like extra just like waist control in there to help suck my body in. I also got in some like basic tanks for myself. These again have that same like stretchy workout material with some waist control in it i do think these are going to be a little bit more cropped and not be like so much on my waist but they do have like the extra like sucking in ability what is that called i think it's called something like extra compression so i got a three pack and these ones do have adjustable straps so it comes with a white a black and a gray i live in just like little tanks even with like the sweatshorts that i have on right now 
these little tanks would be perfect and these again i did get in a medium because i believe pre-pregnancy i would have gotten these in a small so i did size up everything that like i thought um like what size i would be pre-pregnancy i just sized up one so these i most likely would have gotten a small so i sized up to a medium for these I did get one more bathing suit just because I saw this one and I really liked the cut of it. And when I was shopping for postpartum, I did get a lot of one pieces, but this is a two piece. And again, I really just like the cut of it. It's like a larger, thicker bandeau top. I believe I got this in a medium. Yeah, it's like a larger, thicker bandeau top. And then the bottoms are really thick as well. I also really like the color so this i will try on with all of the other bathing suits that i try on in i believe that tiktok i think i'm gonna do it over on tiktok um let's see what else did i get i got this is i don't even know what is this these are a pair of biker shorts i just didn't know if my biker shorts pre-pregnancy would fit me which my favorite pair is from airy and those i know for sure are not gonna fit me because they were tight even pre-pregnancy i do have a pair from when i was pregnant with the boys that i've been wearing but it is like a little bit too loose it's not extremely comfortable so i did get two biker shorts i got this black one which again has what'd you find oh there he is tummy control on the top and it does have like the butt paneling to help your butt look really good so i got a black pair like that and then i did really like this tan color this is normally not something that i would have picked up but i thought with like a band tee this like tan color would look really cute and these i sized up again to a medium because i believe pre-pregnancy i would have gotten a small and i do want these to have like the tummy controllability so i think getting a large it wouldn't really have had that effect so i got a medium in the biker shorts and then let's see i think two or three more things i got this workout dress this i did try on and unfortunately it's still a little too tight so i definitely need to lose a little bit more weight before i can fit into this workout dress i think i got this in a large too no i got this in a medium um it's still just like a little bit too tight on me so hopefully by the end of summer this workout dress will fit me and then the last two things i got this is a really pretty just like blouse that i really liked i figured if i had any events to go to this summer i could wear this with a pair of denim shorts which i haven't tried any of my denim shorts on yet i have no idea if those even fit me i'll probably have to pick up a pair of those but it's just a little black like chiffon okay a really pretty bow in the back it is a longer top so i figured cover up the tummy it's not like a crop top so this i just picked up if i have any sort of event to go to this summer and i need like a quick and easy top to throw on and then the last thing i picked up again the same tummy control ability these are i think they actually are considered shapewear but i know a lot of people wear things like this as bodysuits i got a three pack of these and i think these i did get oh no i did get a medium i thought i got some things in a large i guess not these i did get in a medium and they're just like shapewear bodysuits you can see like the tummy control there they have nice cups on the top adjustable straps i figured with like linen pants denim shorts even like with my sweatshirts comes with a black a white and a brown to help suck me in and scoop me out and i can wear them like i said as a bodysuit on its own or if i need a piece of shapewear i can wear these underneath things if i had to so that is everything i picked up from shein for this summer season thank you to shein for sponsoring this portion of today's video i hear baby girl so perfect timing i'm gonna go downstairs and try and resettle her and i'll check in with you guys in a little bit